so we'll be doing uh, the derivation on geometry of overlapping vertical photos or we'll, that is also called as parallax derivation so imagine that there is a ground surface something like this and there is one point a on the ground and there is another point b on the ground there are two exposure stations from which the photograph is being taken and there is a overlap of 60 percent okay so consider this to be my exposure point o that is my first exposure point and consider this to be my second exposure center exposure station o dash and these will be my positive image planes which i had already told you all there is two planes positive and negative plane so this is my positive plane this will be my nadir line or optical axis also it can be called as nadir line at optical axis etc now so this becomes my focal length f this becomes my height h this is my k point this is my k dash point okay now from o when i take a photo from this particular point when i take a photo of this particular ground a is visible on this photograph somewhere like this this becomes my a a point similarly b point is also visible this becomes my b point similarly with this this side when the photo is being taken from this station a is visible somewhere here i'll name it as a dash and b is also visible somewhere here and i'll name it as b dash okay now if i draw this two images like this this is the photo which is visible to me like this okay these are the few racial marks which are present on the photograph this is my point a this is my point b this is my k point and this will be my k dash point a b similarly this is my k dash and this becomes my b point this becomes my sorry b dash and a dash point the distance from here till here so this is my x axis this is my y axis these are positive these are negative these are negative these are positive this is my y axis this is my x axis so this is x a dash distance and this is x a similarly this becomes x b and this distance becomes x b dash i hope it is clear now when i merge these two photographs that is stereo photograph stereo photograph is being obtained when i merge both of them it is visible like this somehow this is my k point now uh, when i'm overlapping let i'll consider this point and this is my k dash point this will be my a point this will be my b point similarly if i draw this here this will be my a dash and this will be my b dash this is my x a dash this is x a similarly this is x b and this distance is x b dash so i can write parallel axis in general as 
x of left minus x of right now if i consider this to be the center the the this side becomes uh, this image becomes my left image this becomes my right image so left image minus the right image coordinates so left side it is x a a minus of minus x a dash y minus of minus minus of right side x distance because it lies in the negative coordinate i write it as minus of x a dash so parallax at a point is equal to x a minus of minus x a so and parallax at b will be equal to x b minus of minus of x b so in general i can write it as x b plus of x sorry x b dash this also i can write it as x a minus of no sorry plus of x a dash this is parallax at a this is parallax at b i hope you all are clear with this so this is the diagram that is this is my point a this is my point b this is my center this is my exposure point o and o dash similarly on the photos a and b a dash and b this is from first station this is from second station i have replicated the image here and the distance from the center will be x a distance from the center will be x b similarly distance here will be x a dash x b dash similarly when i merge these two photos i can write it something like this that is x a and x a dash x b and x b dash so parallax has a equation which is equal to x left minus of x right x left image minus of x right image left side x a minus of minus x a dash so i can write it as x a plus of x a dash similarly for x b i can write it as x b which is equal to x b plus of x b dash